Before the raid, Hillary Clinton was talking this week about the use of smart power uh, in American foreign policy. And here was part of her explanation of smart power. Showing respect even for one's enemies, trying to understand and insofar as psychologically possible, empathize with their perspective and point of view, helping to define the problems, determine the solutions. Congresswoman Harmon, do we need to respect our enemies and to empathize with their point of view? Well, I think we need to respect those who live in the Middle East, who are devout Muslims and who think that our policies are wrong. No, I don't think we have to respect members of terror groups ever. I think we have to have harsh policies against them. And I just want to add one more thing about the hostage effort, and that is the Yemeni government cooperated with us in building a coalition of people who don't have identical views. Respecting the people in that coalition is going to be the way we stop this, this horrible I mean, the, uh, aggression but, on American But I want to get back to Hillary interests. Clinton. I mean, we, because we're not when, when she's talking about our enemies, she's not talking about people who disagree with us. She's talking about well, al-Qaeda. She's I'm, talking about, if I may, she's talking about ISIS. And she said that we need to respect them, show respect even for one's enemies, empathize with their perspective. Do we need to empathize I, I, with I, ISIS? I take issue with the word enemies. I think we have to respect people with different points of view in it, the Middle East it. in order to win the so, argument with them. I don't exactly know what enemy? she was What's saying. The I don't, well, you know who the... Well, well I, enemies, enemy, there's no doubt who that is. But, Britt, everybody in the Middle East and everybody in, in not, these areas is not an enemy. We so understand she's that, not but saying I relevant to what she said. Well, I, I, I guess I don't understand what she meant by enemy. I do understand what she meant about respect. And I think respect is a key well, to, winning, to winning the Sunni population to help us in the Middle meant, East. That she meant, uh, you know, groups like ISIS, groups like al-Qaeda, would slaughter Americans. Well, Do we need to empathize let me make one more try. Uh, let me at least say from my point of view, these people are prospective enemies if we don't show respect and an understanding for their points of view. And I, I have to believe that that's what she meant. George? Let me try to say this as politely as possible. The English language is not Hillary Clinton's close friend. She's just not a fluent speaker. And we're going to have a lot of experience with this. We've had it already. We're going to have a lot more going forward. She thinks... She, what she was saying was a crashing banality said in the most artless way possible. She's saying we ought to try and understand the other guy, get inside his mind, understand his motivation. Fine, that's how you say it. Instead, she had to talk about a kind of gaseous new wave rhetor age rhetoric about respect and empathy and all the rest. She was saying nothing particularly controversial, but she was saying it in a... In an unfortunate way. She meant to say something non-controversial and ended up saying something highly controversial, just as she did a few weeks ago when she said, you know, don't let anybody tell you that it's, exactly. that it's businesses and corporations that create jobs. And, you know, they had to rush the fire brigade out to try to put out the storm that was created by that inane comment, um, palpably incorrect. Uh, and, you know, she does have a history, as George points out here, and, you know, she, She's been around a long time. You'd think she'd be sharper than this well, as a candidate, but so far well, she she's not. Yeah, 